Mix on efficient back here. There you go. So tell them what we're doing right over here right now. We are taking Woo. pig heads and DOA shrimp and jigging them across the bottom. Yep, we had a little cold front come through, so a whole bunch of trout are starting to stage up at bridges and structured areas and a little bit deeper, and you can just catch a whole mess of them. How many do you think we caught today? Over 20. Over 20? 15, 16, maybe? Yeah, like, it, it's so easy. It's just like clockwork. Just cast right up under there and like we'll probably catch wait, one right here. wait until it hits the bottom. And then after it hits the bottom, you want to be using a fairly big weight. You got to put a jig head through these uh, deal ways. Boom, fish on. Just like that, it's that easy. We usually like to use the glow shrimp. Uh, we feel like that, you know, works the best and it's kind of like our confidence bait. And we always feel like we always do pretty well here. You think that's a fairly good fish? It's pretty good. Ah, it's a decent size, what is that, like 18, 19? See, when you get trout that actually take line, you can get, get pretty fun. And anytime you stop catching fish, you just move down two pilings that and one might start up again. Nah. <laughs> there we go, nice little trout. That one's probably 18. Oh, well, there we go. That's a nice little fish right there. All in one quick video and then back at it. See you guys later. And we are on another one. How's this one look? Pretty small. A little itty bitty big. And in case you're wondering, we got our limit a while ago. Come over here and show this to you. We decided to keep a couple fish. Uh, just for tonight and it didn't take very long to, to get a quick limit so we got our limit and now we're just ah! fishing for fun so like we said you get a DOA glow shrimp you hook it up with a jig head just like that just heavy jig head so it gets down to the bottom Especially with this hard current. You uh, you tie up to where the current's like coming towards you, but if it's a windy day where the wind's blowing that way and the current's going that way, it's good to be on the other side to cast way out there and jig back. But if it's days like this, you cast way under. And you actually want to get to the other side because that's actually where you get most hits is right at the front of that line right there. And you just let it sink all the way to the bottom and just jig it out just one. Nice and slow too. Emphasis on it being on the bottom. You want the bait on the bottom. They're sitting on the bottom, just swimming in the current, waiting for something to come right to them. And now we are on again. And we've seriously been doing this all day long. You know, I think that may be the smallest trout we've caught all day. <laughs> Sometimes they'll, uh, depending on which jig heads you're using, they'll uh, sometimes bend them out, and that's kind of surprising for trout, because, yeah, kind of weak fish, but uh, you want to make sure your hook's good and not bent out, because we've been using these hooks almost all day, not getting snapped off, so uh, enjoy this video and uh, keep fishing. Oh. Got one on the thumper. Just show, as long as you keep it on the bottom, almost anything can catch a trout down here.
you can just see how fat these trout are compared to their heads. Oh, I know, man. These things just have been eating well. Massive. They're just sitting here in the current. Current's coming in or out. Out usually is better, but right now it's coming in, and they're just sitting there, and all the things that are in front of them are just getting sucked towards them. And all these bait fish and mullet and things like that are just being pulled towards them. Shrimp, crustaceans, crabs, and they're just having a field day on those. Thank you. Tell, uh, tell your mom, tell your sister, tell your brother. Come over here. We want to catch them. Woo! Man, alive. That was good fish, man. Monster! Good fish. It's cold. Pick it up over time. Woohoo! That's good looking trout, Nick. Man, that looks good, dude. That looks good.